Hi everybody, my name is Miss Heaney and today we're going to talk about simplifying fractions. What exactly is simplifying fractions? Simplifying fractions is when we say fractions in an easier way. So let's say that I went to a pizza place and I asked for six twelfths of my pizza to be pepperoni. Six twelfths is a fraction and I could say six twelfths of a pizza. But what exactly is six twelfths? Looking at six twelfths, I know that this is a fraction, but there's an easier way or simpler way of saying six twelfths. I know that six twelfths is equivalent to what fraction? I know right off the bat that six twelfths is equivalent to one half. If you need more help with being able to find fractions that are equivalent to one half, be sure to check out another video that I created. 6 twelfths is equivalent to 1 half. But why? When we're simplifying fractions, what we do is we divide the top and the bottom by the same number to make it smaller. So if I have 6 twelfths, what can I divide on the top and the bottom to make it smaller? This is where sometimes our GCF can come into play. I'm thinking of the biggest number I can divide on the top and the bottom which I know is six. What's six divided by six going to give us? Six divided by six gives us one. What does 12 divided by six give us? If you're struggling with your division, remember to go the other way. What times six will give us 12? That number is two. One half is equivalent or equal to six twelfths. If I take a half and I divide it into six pieces, that would get a half. Let's go ahead and try this with a different problem. I'm going to go ahead and work on two six. How can we simplify two six in a different way? If I have two six, what can I divide on the top and the bottom to make this fraction smaller? Thinking about my greatest common factor, I know that I can try dividing by two. These numbers are even, so dividing by two might be a good choice. 2 and 2. What's 2 divided by 2 going to give us? 2 divided by 2 gives us 1. What about 6 divided by 2? Remember, if we're struggling with our division problems, what times 2 will give us 6? That number is 3. That means that 1 third is equivalent or equal to 2 6. And 1 third is a simpler or easier way of saying 2 6. They are the same. Let's try a different one. What about 8 twelfths? We can simplify 8 twelfths because I know that I can divide a number on the top and the bottom to make this smaller. What number could we try dividing on the top and the bottom to make this smaller? Can I try by 1? No, because if we divide by 1, we would get the same number. Can I try by 2? I could divide 8 by 2. Can I divide 12 by 2? I can. Let's do 8 divided by 2 and 12 divided by 2. 8 divided by 2 is going to give us 4, and 12 divided by 2 is going to give us 6. Can we simplify 4 6 more? We can. 4 6 can be simplified because I can divide on the top and the bottom by another number. And this is where our fact fluency comes into play. Four divided by what? I can do two. Six divided by what? What we do on the bottom, we've got to do on the top. What's four divided by two? Four divided by two is two. What's six divided by two? Six divided by two is three. 8 twelfths could be simplified into 2 thirds. Was there a different way to do this? Absolutely. We could have divided 8 twelfths by a different number. And maybe you were thinking of the same number. 8 divided by 4 and 12 divided by 4 could have been done just the same. There is sometimes more than one way to do a problem. 8 divided by 4 would have given us 2. And 12 divided by 4 would have given us 3. How do both of these work? 
we divided by 12, I'm sorry, by 2 twice. 2 plus 2 is 4. So we could have done by 2, 2 times, or by 4. Let's just try one more number. 5 and 15. What could we divide on the top and the bottom to make this smaller? I can't try by 1. And I can't try by 2, because 5 cannot be divided by 2. Can I try by 3? I know 15 divided by 3 will work, but does 5 divided by 3 work? Nope. What about 4? Can I do 5 divided by 4? I cannot. What about 5? I can do 5 divided by 5. Can I do 15 divided by 5? I can, so let's do 5 divided by 5 and 15 divided by 5. 5 divided by 5 would give us 1. Five divide, 15 divided by 5 gives us what? If we don't know that, what times 5 will give us 15? That number is 3. 5 fifteenths in simplest third would be, in simplest form would be 1 third. A good hint is if the numerator is 1, you know that you found your simplest form. But not always does the numerator have to be 1. But if it is, you are in simplest form. I hope this video helped you understand a little bit on how to simplify fractions. Thanks for watching. Bye.